first quarter was kind of the turning point for you guys. You were just playing catch up for most of the night. Where would you say what was the issue? You guys couldn't get anything going, settling. What would you kind of uh, credit to the slow start? Uh, a little bit of both. I think when our offense is not running, <clears throat> I think it affect our defense a little bit, which is it can't happen. And I think they got into the heart of our defense a lot, which is the paint. And that's, you know, that's our number one thing is try to protect the paint. And when they get in the paint, they could do anything they want. Let's go to Rick. T, when you guys struggle offensively, is there any particular pattern to it? Uh, no, nah, but I, I think tonight we, we shot a lot of outside shots. We was five out instead of putting pressure on the rim. Uh, we didn't have no, no guy really attacking the paint or no, having no guy putting, you know, putting pressure on the paint, <clears throat> whether they had the ball or not. And I think when we get stagnant like that, we just pass the ball around to it, it, it get late shot clock and then somebody got to take a tough shot. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Let's go to Richard Walker and then Christos. Uh, Terry, uh, Terry, so Richard Walker with Carolina uh, uh, SportsHub.com. Obviously, missing a couple of games affect you guys, and what do you think the prognosis will be for him moving forward? Uh, say that again. Who missed a couple of games? I can't hear you. I said if Gordon Hayward is able misses a couple of games, how much will that affect your team? Uh, I mean, uh, he's 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 our leading scorer. He's you know he's our leader. You know he's our guy. But you know this is part of the NBA. You just got to step up, and it's the next man up mentality. So we, we got to figure it out, and we'd be ready. Christos. Uh, hello, Terry. I would like to ask you, what would you like to change about your approach on uh, the game tonight, and also how big is the motivation to bounce back to the next game? If we could change anything, I think it would just be our, our first quarter start. I think we got down after that, and it kind of took the, the life out of us, and then we, we, we was playing catch-up from from that point on. But um, uh, I think we'll bounce back. This is That's the sweet thing about the NBA. You get a lot of opportunities, and we got another one tomorrow uh, against a hungry team, so we'll be ready. DJ Danny Thompson with a three-point conversion. This is a totally different Dallas team that you saw from two weeks ago. How much does uh, Christoph Porzingis change – what you guys were doing because it seemed like you guys weren't trying to, to attack the rim at the start of the game. Uh, they were just making shots. Um, we didn't come out aggressive and uh, we dug ourselves into a big hole that we couldn't uh, get out of. So um, they were the more aggressive team than I would say. And uh, we just kind of sat back and took a lot of jump shots when we should have been attacking. So, I mean, I feel like um, if we play like that, we'll lose a bunch of games. So we just got to clean it up in the uh, first half and then we'll be a lot better. Richard Walker. Uh, PJ, uh, Richard Walker with the uh, Carolina Sports Hub. Uh, Gordon left the game in the third quarter and didn't come back. Yeah, what is your feeling of uh, how you're going to replace him if he's not able to play tomorrow and how important is he to the team? Uh, Gordon's super important to us. Uh, he's a big part of our team, but I mean, if he's not going to be able to play, I feel like uh, we have confidence in a lot of our guys that we're going to be able to step up and uh, come come in and play a lot of uh, some good minutes. So we have guys that are ready and guys that are uh, willing to do what it takes to win. So um, we uh, wish, wish him the best and hopefully he gets to play tomorrow. Let's go to Rod Boone and then Christos. Hey, PJ, a game like tonight, uh, what do you guys learn as a young team trying to like, you know, get better each and every night? What do you learn to, to take out there tomorrow night to kind of make sure it doesn't happen again tomorrow? We got to start the game better. Uh, come out more aggressive, get into get into the rim, um, stopping teams, not letting them shoot up shoot uh, threes, and uh, basically not getting offensive rebounds. So we have a lot to clean up. Um, we're gonna watch some film and get better. So um, we're still excited about this season. We still um, can look look at this game and get better. So um, we're definitely excited about tomorrow going in, going into it. Go to Christos. Hello, PJ. I would like to ask you, what was the biggest lesson of uh, the tonight's game about your team? And also, uh, how how motivated you are about the next game? Uh, we're super motivated. I feel like the first quarter um, was terrible for us. Um, we learned a lot in the first. We learned that um, we need to start better. Can't let uh, guys just shoot open threes. Can't let them get offensive rebounds. So we just come out and just start the games better. And that's uh, will lead us on to victory. So we just got to uh, come out tomorrow night and start the game better. Thank you. Go to Will Kunkel. 
Hey, PJ, when you see all the news that goes and flies around the NBA today, you guys start texting everybody. What was your initial reaction when you saw all the moves made? Uh, yeah, we were talking about it in the locker room, but, I mean, uh, for us, we just try to keep it uh, Hornets. I mean, everything about us. So come in and just uh, worry about the scouting court who we're playing. So, I mean, when we'll play those teams, uh, we'll talk about it. But for right now, we're worried about us. Thank you.